Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to take less KV in Minecraft PvP. This has actually been a pretty requested video for me, and I'm only getting around to it just now, so I hope you guys enjoy this video because these are some pretty special tips I'm going to be showing you that not a lot of people know about. Minecraft KV has been a pretty controversial topic, but today I'm going to be showing you ways that you can control your KV and use it to your advantage. So without any of the tips that I'm going to show you guys in this video, your KV probably looks like this, and you're sort of just flying around, and you can't really do much about it. As you can see, I'm taking a, t a ton of KV right now. I can't really do much about it, and I'm pretty much getting myself killed. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what you can do to reduce your KV so something like that doesn't happen to you. Okay, so what I'm about to show you guys is something that a lot of good players do. So Stimpy does this, uh, Verzide actually abused this when he was getting known. So what you want to do first of all, right, is you want to go to your kit editor on whatever practice server that you are on. You want to select whatever kit that you're using. So for example, for me that would be no debuff you want to create a kit and here's where it gets important right so as you can see uh, you have like a pretty standard looking uh, inventory when it comes to no debuff but this is what you need to do right so you can see right here I have one stack of steak and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a pot out and what you want to do is take one pot out and you want to give yourselves another stack of steak. So you guys are probably thinking right now, well, what the hell is that going to do? You're literally just making us take a pot out of our inventory for no reason. However, you're wrong because what we're actually doing is we're actually increasing our center of gravity by having more steak in our inventory. So if you guys don't know, the more food that you have, usually the more heavier you are. And we can take this concept and we can apply it to Minecraft PvP. So by doubling our steak amount, in theory, we are reducing the knockback that we're taking by 50%. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So I'm going to go ahead and pot up. I'm going to have both stacks of steaks in my hotbar and we're going to go ahead and fight. And you can see almost immediately that I am taking way less KB and this fight is infinitely easier for me. So as you can see, our KB is heavily reduced and I think we're about to beat this guy right here. Yeah, and there we go. So as you can see by that fight, my KB was reduced substantially. However, is that really as far as you can take it? Now, believe it or not, but you can actually do more with this. So if we go back to our kit editor, we choose no debuff, we go back to our kit. So the first thing that you'll notice is that we are using steak. Well, you would think, wouldn't it make a lot more sense if we're using golden carrots instead? Like these are pure gold. These probably have like 10 times the amount of calories that steak has. So having golden carrots in your inventory is going to reduce your KB even more. And instead of having two slots, why don't we do more? Like why don't we just straight up have like five slots? Why not 10 slots? 10 slots in our inventory dedicated to a stack of golden carrots. Why don't we do that? Okay, so having 10 stacks of golden carrots is going to help, but it's not going to completely reduce your KB to nothing. So here's some other stuff that you can do to make your KB as low as possible. So you see we have our opponent. What you want to do is you want to message toxic things to our opponent. So what you want to do is you want to message a bunch of toxic stuff to your opponent. And basically that's going to trick Minecraft into essentially thinking that you're even more obese than you actually are. So as you can see right now, we're taking no KB at all and he cannot make us move at all. So uh, yeah, it seems like the, t the, the tips have worked for the most part. The golden carrots, the toxic messages, and he's dead. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it. The last thing I want to mention is that this tip does not only apply to practice servers, it's basically any server where you have food. So you could go on a game mode like Skywars for example, and if you just prioritize getting food in your inventory in that game, and then you are going to be able to take less KB. So any game mode where you are able to get an absurd amount of food, you'll be able to benefit from this video. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Try not to abuse this tip too much or else servers might catch on and do something about it. Also, huge shout out to PvP Land because they were the reason I was able to record this video. IP is PvP.land. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.